Picture this, a world where shoulder pads were as essential as breathing, where typewriters clacked away in every office corner, and where a single raised eyebrow could convey more than a paragraph's worth of dialogue. Ah, those days when the 80 seconds weren't just a decade, but a way of life. Now, let your mind stroll down the memory lane of television history, pausing at the iconic crossroads of your first encounter with the beloved 1984 TV series Who's the Boss? The screen flickers to life, and there they are, the comically endearing Tony Michelli and the fiercely independent Angela Bauer. Who could forget that witty banter, the clash of personalities, and the heartwarming moments that ensnared your attention? Maybe it was Tony's unconventional path to becoming a housekeeper that made you grin, or Angela's unapologetic pursuit of her career that left an indelible mark. And oh, the endless chuckles that came courtesy of Mona's sass and Jonathan's precociousness. Each episode painted a quirky portrait of life, love, and the zaniest situations. But enough reminiscing, let's uncover some tidbits you might not have known about this classic gem. Did you ever wonder about the behind-the-scenes camaraderie that fueled the show's magic? Or the little anecdotes that gave its characters depth and authenticity? Prepare to be amused, surprised, and thoroughly entertained by these random facts about who's the boss. Get ready to embrace the nostalgia, folks. It's time to journey back to the era of big hair, even bigger dreams, and a show that found its way into the hearts of millions. Let's dive into the captivating world of Who's the Boss and unveil the secrets that made it an unforgettable part of television history. And Alyssa Milano, the effervescent star of the 1984 TV series Who's the Boss, revealed an unexpected twist to her iconic character Samantha during the show's eighth season. Struggling with the weight of portraying Samantha for an extended period, Milano sought a creative outlet to rejuvenate her role. In a candid article, she unveiled her decision to shed her signature long locks in favor of a shorter, fresher style. This daring move not only symbolized Milano's personal transformation, but also breathed new life into Samantha, allowing the character to evolve along with the actress. While the show's lighthearted narrative and comedic antics delighted viewers, its true allure was a synergy of visual elements that fostered a sense of comfort and nostalgia. The cozy effect was meticulously cultivated through the show's visual direction. The warm cinematography enveloped characters in a gentle radiance, while primary colors adorning their wardrobes provided a vibrant backdrop. However, it was the show's set design that truly created an inviting haven. The kitchen, adorned with rustic copper pots and a swinging wood door, seamlessly flowed into the homey living room where a floral couch beckoned. A comforting fireplace graced the background, adorned with a quaint horse figurine on the mantelpiece. Notably, even the walls, built from small boulders, added to the welcoming ambience. Beyond the interiors, outdoor scenes captured the essence of a Connecticut autumn, enhancing the show's signature Who's the Boss magic. As the series navigated its seventh season, a notable cast change took place, exemplifying the challenges of introducing new dynamics. Billy, positioned as the successor to the show's endearing cute kid Jonathan, entered with great promise. However, the experiment faltered, leading to his departure at season's end. This candid portrayal of a creative misstep highlighted the intricate balance between beloved characters and the risks of attempting change within a cherished ensemble. Amid the laughter and heartwarming moments, Who's the Boss? etched its legacy through its captivating visual tapestry and evolving characters. Alyssa Milano's transformative decision to embrace a new look symbolized the show's ethos of growth and change, echoing its enduring appeal. In the end, it's the marriage of these elements that secured Who's the Boss? as an indelible classic in television history. Vision history. Vision has in a surprising twist that left fans both intrigued and disappointed. The beloved 1980s TV series Who's the Boss faced a pivotal decision at the end of its third season. The show's producers aimed to spin off the vivacious Mona character, portrayed by the incomparable Catherine Helmand, into her own series. This game-changing move was set to culminate in a two-part season finale, where Mona would bid farewell to the familiar household and embark on a new adventure, running a hotel alongside her brother. Meanwhile, Tony, the affable housekeeper-turned-confidant played by Tony Danza, would take over Mona's loft apartment. Yet, just as the new direction seemed set to unravel, a wave of apprehension swept through the corridors of ABC's executive offices. 
Fearing that Mona's departure might imperil the show's flourishing success, network decision makers intervened, abruptly halting plans for the spin-off. The anticipated two-parter's conclusion underwent a last-minute transformation, leading to a memorable tag sequence that saw Mona's swift return to the fold. Tony, relegated once again to his role as Angela's dependable sidekick, reclaimed his spot within the bustling household. This behind-the-scenes drama not only added a layer of complexity to the narrative but also mirrored the unpredictable twists that often characterized the entertainment industry. The clash of creative ambition and commercial pragmatism showcased the intricate dance between the vision of the show's creators and the pragmatic considerations of network executives. While the spin-off dreams fizzled, the show's legacy endured, etching Who's the Boss into the annals of television history as a testament to the capricious nature of showbiz. As fans look back on the heady days of Who's the Boss and the reverberations of its decisions, it's a reminder that even in the glitzy realm of Hollywood, the heart and soul of a show can sometimes be as tangled and intricate as the webs of its on-screen relationships. 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 ABC's beloved 1984 TV series, Who's the Boss? held an unexpected twist behind the scenes, mirroring the heartwarming dynamics it portrayed on screen. As the show charmed its way into viewers' hearts over seven seasons, its fate teetered on the edge. The original plan, a curtain call at the end of its seventh run. However, the producers rallied to preserve the show's spirit, successfully convincing ABC to grant it an eighth season. Yet, the gamble of centering the entire eighth season around Tony and Angela's long-awaited romance did not yield the anticipated ratings surge. Despite the creative shift, the numbers refused to climb, sealing the show's fate in cancellation. This unexpected behind-the-scenes drama mirrored the captivating narrative arcs that drew audiences in. Created by Martin Cohan and Blake Hunter, the show followed Tony Michelli, played by the charismatic Tony Danza who sought to redefine gender norms as a single father. With the stalwart support of his housekeeper Angela, portrayed by Judith Light, and her mother Mona, brought to life by Catherine Helmond, the show balanced heartwarming moments with comedic flair. But amidst the laughter and heartaches, the pivotal turn of events in the eighth season showcased the challenging terrain of television production. As Tony and Angela's relationship took center stage, the gamble to rekindle viewers' interest was met with a gamble of its own, a dice roll that ultimately saw the show conclude after its eighth season. The saga of Who's the Boss remains a testament to the intricate dance between creative vision and audience appeal. In the annals of television history, Who's the Boss will forever stand as a cherished reminder of the magic and complexity that unfolds both on screen and behind the scenes. The series' journey, from its initial episode to its bittersweet conclusion, serves as a poignant reminder that even in the world of entertainment, the script can take an unexpected turn. turn, 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 turn. Who's the Boss? Episode 115, a hidden tale of unaired pilots in the annals of television history. Some episodes remain shrouded in mystery, locked away from the prying eyes of the viewing public. Enter episode 115 of the beloved 1984 TV series, Who's the Boss? This enigmatic episode, never gracing the screens during the show's original prime time run, holds a tale of last minute casting changes and unforeseen developments that altered the course of TV history. Originally intended to serve as a pilot for a new ABC series titled Living Dolls, episode 115 took an unexpected journey. The fickle nature of show business reared its head, leading to sudden casting alterations that prompted its withdrawal from the schedule. This twist of fate sent the showrunners back to the drawing board, setting the stage for a revamped take on the premise. But the story doesn't end there. Several months later, a second episode was filmed, stepping into the role of the Living Dolls pilot. It aired on the very night Living Dolls finally made its premiere. A fascinating convergence of events unfolded, intertwining the fates of these two shows in an unexpected manner. As we delve into the intricate web of TV production, it's important to note that Who's the Boss holds more secrets than its viewers might suspect. Season 1 stands as a lone sentinel, the sole season to be released on DVD, preserving a slice of television history for future generations to savor. The show's off-screen connection with its on-screen personas is another captivating layer. 
Tony Danza and Alyssa Milano, embodying the characters of Tony and Samantha Michelli, share a real-life bond with their Brooklyn roots. Their genuine Brooklyn origins add an authentic touch to the show's portrayal of the intertwining of family, work, and New York City life. In the world of television, hidden stories and unsung heroes abound. The tale of episode 115 of Who's the Boss is a reminder that even in the controlled realm of showbiz, twists and turns can lead to unexpected outcomes. As fans and historians continue to unravel the layers of this beloved show, the mysteries behind the scenes remain an enduring piece of its legacy. As the curtains draw to a close on our journey through the charismatic world of Who's the Boss, it's not just a TV series that bids us farewell, it's a realm of cherished memories, heartwarming laughter, and life lessons that have woven themselves into the fabric of our own stories. Each episode, every character, and all those quirky moments have, in their own unique way, become a part of our lives. As we sit back and reflect on the trials and tribulations of Tony and Angela, the hilarity of Mona's quick wit, and the endearing innocence of Jonathan and Samantha, we're reminded that this show was more than just a sitcom. It was a mirror to our own experiences, a reflection of the dynamics that shape our relationships, and a timeless reminder of the power of family, friendship, and following your dreams. So, dear friends and fellow travelers of the Who's the Boss? Universe, it's now your turn to share the spotlight. What are the moments that brought tears of laughter to your eyes? The instances that tugged at your heartstrings and made you feel a part of this unconventional family? Take a moment to relive those memories and let them echo in the corridors of your mind. Whether it was Tony's cooking escapades, Angela's remarkable poise, or even the subtle glances exchanged between characters that spoke volumes, your unique perspective adds another layer to this rich tapestry. Share your thoughts, your laughter, your lessons, and your boss moments that resonated with you on a personal level. As we bid adieu to the TV screen where Tony Danza and Judith Light once charmed us, remember that the story doesn't truly end here. It continues in the narratives we create, the friendships we foster, and the bonds we nurture. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down memory lane, for sharing your own stories, and for keeping the spirit of who's the boss alive in your hearts. And so, as the final credits rolled and the theme song's melody lingers in the air, we sign off with a heart full of gratitude for your time, your enthusiasm, and your unyielding connection to a show that touched us all in its own special way. Until we meet again to explore new worlds of nostalgia and inspiration, keep those memories alive. Memories alive. Memories alive.